Settle down, girl. <laughs> Regrettably, at least for the time being, Rockstar seems to have abandoned Red Dead Redemption 2, and the only way to get new content is to make it ourselves. The good news is there are a bunch of horses buried deep in the game files. The bad news is, it's not easy to get them out into story mode. <laughs> However, it can be done, and this video will serve as a basic tutorial, as well as my personal experiences getting Bodicea. Arthur's secret horse, the liver chestnut Hungarian half-bred. <laughs> if you are new to this channel, greetings. I'm your friendly neighbor, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Here we go. First things first, you will need a game save editor and a PC. I used Save Wizard which is available at SaveWizard.net for around 60 bucks. Links are not in the description. This video is not sponsored by SaveWizard, and in all honesty, I don't know if I endorse this program. I have very little experience with PCs. Ironic, as I have four Macs. I had to buy a PC to get this horse. The website claims SaveWizard will work on a Mac, but not without a lot of workarounds, and I wasn't interested in cluttering up my hard drive with a bunch of sketchy freeware extractors just to open this up on a Mac. Much easier for me to simply buy a cheap Windows laptop. Also note, this runs on Windows. You cannot use a Chromebook. That's a whole different operating system. Most of you have a PC, so this isn't an issue for you. However, this is my channel and my video, and I'm relating my experience. And this is what I had to do to get this horse. The good news is Save Wizard works on PS4 and also PS4 games on PS5, and they have cheats for over 1600 games, including AC Valhalla, Ghost of Tsushima, all of the Resident Evils, and The Witcher 3, among many, many others. It is off. I'm going numb. <laughs> you alright? Oh, this looks bad. I am, of course, only interested in Red Dead Redemption 2. Save Wizard gives you access to all of the basic cheats. Infinite ammo, unlocking the map, unlock wardrobe, but we are here for the horses, and we will use this editor to access the game files. So you buy this program, or rather purchase a license key and then download the program, and install it on your PC. They take PayPal, if that helps. No, I'm not alright. <laughs> It's real, man. Now we go to Settings on PS4. And then Applications, Saved Data Management. Red Dead Redemption 2 will close. That is, if it's open. And if you are watching this video, it probably is. Oh, God. You did it. Praise Jesus. Oh. And then we go to Saved Data in System Storage. We will want our saves from Red Dead Redemption 2. And then you copy your game files onto an external USB flash drive. It's interesting how tiny these files are compared to the damage they can inflict on your game. Gah. Which brings up the first problem or challenge. You have to keep track of your saves and you can lose progress, horses, trophies, Lots can go wrong when you start fooling around and overriding saves. I like to make a hard save, and then ride around for a bit to activate the autosave, and then copy the autosave. That way we have a baseline we can return to in case we screw up, which, let's be honest, is more than a remote possibility. Then we load those files onto the editor on PC. Save Wizard will automatically read them, and will want you to name your file. We right-click on our save and go to Advanced Mode to access the code. And there are your game files. 
Just like the Matrix, if you stare long enough, you'll start seeing trees, horses, condors. It's all in there. What we are going to do is rewrite the horse Arthur is currently riding, so we need to find the code for that horse on rdr2mods.com. Again, the only links in the description are my links. You're going to have to do a little research and figure it out. Also, I should mention that there are many far superior and far more succinct Save Wizard tutorials on YouTube, including That 50s Girl. Her channel seems to be inactive, but she has a lot of great videos on this process. Just search RDR2 Save Wizard and see what comes up. At any rate, Arthur is riding the Reverse Dappled Black Thoroughbred, available from the Special or Ultimate Edition of the game. Listen, John. We find the pet model database at rdr2mods.com slash wiki slash pet hyphen search, and we scroll down to Thoroughbred underscore Reverse Dapple Black. It's alphabetical. Click here and copy this title. Go to hash generator and we want the hex, which will be an 8 digit alphanumeric code. Back to the PC where we search for that string of numbers and letters. I find it fascinating that you can reduce a horse, or anything in this game, or in life, to essentially a series of zeros and ones. Once we have found the horse Arthur is currently riding, we go back to the ped model database and look for the horse we want which in this case is the mythical liver chestnut Hungarian halfbred. Copy that title into hash generator, get the hash, and then back on save wizard, overwrite the reverse dapple with the liver chestnut. Save wizard will ask if you want to proceed. Yes, of course. It will think a bit as it rewrites your save edits onto the USB flash drive. We take that new save and load it back into the PS4. Back to settings, application save data management, but this time, save data on USB storage. And then we copy those files into system storage. We choose Red Dead Redemption 2, overwrite that autosave, and then reload the game and enjoy your new forbidden horse. The golden boy. Why don't you just sit down? Hello, Arthur. You may have to manually reload the autosave to get it to work. And you may have to repeat the entire process a couple times, or even more. It may not work the first time. Why is that, you may be wondering. I don't know. I made this look easy, but I can assure you, this is not all cherry pies and celebration milk. It takes time. Your results may vary. Welcome to you and your horse. Got some room in the stable here. I'll give you a fair price. You will be able to enter the stable with this horse and buy supplies, saddles, and haircuts. However, you will be unable to access any of your other horses. Yeah, good looking horse now. Anyway. No worries. You can access your horses through the horse station. This works for all of the story mode horses most of the online horses, and most of the gang horses. Why not all horses, you may be asking? Don't know. And you may be wondering, since rdr2mods.com has the codes for all of the animals in the game, would it be possible to get Arthur to ride the legendary bull gator, or perhaps a grizzly bear? Well, I tried the bear, and regrettably, when we reloaded, we had no bear and no horse, and we had to trash that save. Shout out to subscriber Jamie H and their brother's channel Mr. Vinewood1899 for planting the seed. The save wizard seed, if you will. Jamie sent me many detailed emails on the subject, and I wouldn't have considered trying this without their expertise and encouragement. Many thanks, friend.
Look for a video entitled something like Bodicea, the case for the liver chestnut Hungarian half-bred. And we will be using this horse exclusively in Free Roam Fridays, which will be known going forward as Free Roam Fridays, the Bodicea free run. Don't tell Biscuit. Arthur and Bodicea will take a moment to pose for the thumbnail in the Instagram. Link in the description, along with links for channel membership, merch, and our Discord. And if you enjoyed this video, consider making a one-time donation to the tip jar by clicking on this handy thanks button. This video is sponsored by viewers like you. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail.